have to find a way to fix it all. And the answer is somewhere out in the Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West features a massive open world, which is super dangerous for the unprepared Dinobot hunters. Thankfully though, we've got your back. I'm Brian Altano, and I'm here to get you ready to take on the post, post, post-apocalyptic world of Horizon Forbidden West. This is IGN's Game Prep, presented by 5 Hour Energy. It's the one when you gotta get stuff done. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. Now, before you even get into the meat of your adventure, you'll spend at least a couple of hours in a starting region known as the Daunt. Now, sure, you could just charge through main quests and off into the wilds of the Forbidden West, but there are actually some really helpful side quests you'll want to be sure to tackle early on that will set up Aloy to handle almost any threat she encounters. These are the five things you've got to get done first in Horizon Forbidden West, presented by 5 Hour Energy Shots. Because we're going to make you something even better. Ba boom! First up is the errand called a bigger boom in Chainscrape. Pick it up just east of the forge in Chainscrape. If there's any quest you absolutely must do in this first chunk of the game, it's this one. Now, it's relatively simple to complete. You just need to talk to these sisters and bring them some crafting parts, but the prototype spike thrower they give you isn't just a great early weapon, but it might just be the best one you can get until much later on in the game. Is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Now, you'll wind up riding past this old world ruin during a main quest, but it's definitely worth doubling back to later on. These spots marked on your map with what looks like a crumbling building center around ancient ornaments you'll need for a cool side quest later on, but are also full of loot caches and supply boxes and will reward you with two skill points, which are super handy to collect early on. While you're at it, there's a viewpoint tower nearby that you can complete for some extra XP. <sighs> Completing the image and locked a data file. Savior, the hunting grounds are open to you. Honestly, this is an activity that you don't even have to do if you don't want to. You'll be given a free shock damage bow just for talking to the groundskeeper. Completing these hunting challenges isn't just a good way to get comfortable hunting machines though. It'll also earn you a decent amount of shards and XP, plus some coils, weaves, and crafting parts. And if you do well enough, a bunch of hunter's medals, which you won't need for a while, but are really good to stockpile early on if you can. Maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. This side quest actually branches off of the main quest line and can't be finished until after you complete the Embassy main quest and leave the Dawn. However, it's well worth your time to finish it off and double back because not only will you earn a couple of extra skill points, but you'll also unlock the Nora Champion armor, which provides much better resistance to physical damage and bonuses to your stealth and concentration, especially once you upgrade it. Plus, it just looks cool as hell. We were torn whittling this list down to just five, so we're gonna call this last recommendation a two for one, a freebie for you. The Eclipse, they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Once you make it to the Barren Light, there's a prisoner in a jail cell you can speak with. The rewards for this quest itself aren't really anything special, but it's a really cool throwback to the first game and adds a bit of intrigue to your first hours in the Forbidden West. Alternatively, if you're a fan of in-world minigames like Witcher 3's Gwent or KOTOR's Pazak, you're sure to get loads of additional game hours out of Machine Strike, a tabletop strategy game played with carved pieces on a wooden board. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. You can get a really thorough tutorial from Salma in Chainscrape, who will also give you some starter pieces. And you can even win a couple more too. You can find vendors selling these wooden game pieces across the map too, but if you're anything like me, your favorites will be the ones you win by defeating your rivals. You won. On all my boards, actually. Here, that deserves a special prize. So those are our picks for the best side content to dig into first in Forbidden West, but there are a few other things you should know too. So one of the great changes from the first game is that any items you pick up that won't fit in your satchel are automatically transferred to your stash back at settlements. So be sure to do a bunch of scrounging early on and make liberal use of that take all button. You can never have too many medicinal berries or random lengths of wire. Find this in my stash later. 
Forbidden West has a bunch of great accessibility options, and it's also one of the rare games that lets you completely customize your controller's button layout. It's a good idea to spend some time with the default controls, then experiment with changes that might work better for you. For example, I swap my crouch and roll buttons since my brain basically has a crouch mode perma-mapped to the circle button. Okay, last up, I know we just went through a bunch of cool side quests, but once you pick up that awesome spike thrower from the sisters, it's a really good idea to mainline story missions until you complete the quest called Death's Door. It'll help you uncover some of the main map, and more importantly, it'll unlock the igniter, which lets you blast your way through those weird fire gleam walls that you've probably been wondering how to get past by now. That said, we've also found that most of those walls are just hiding some pretty basic resource crates. So if you aren't super concerned about checking that point off your map, go ahead and savor those opening hours. Okay, now you're armed with all the essential knowledge you need before your journey to the Forbidden West unfolds. For more on Aloy's next big adventure, check out the biggest changes between Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, or all the things Horizon doesn't tell you. And of course, you can check out our full guide to saving the world from the Dinobot Revolution over on IGN. And a big thanks to our friends at 5 Hour Energy for sponsoring this episode. Thanks for watching, Game Prep.